the real question on everyone's mind is, why do you hate fall? Hmm? Yeah. Okay. Maybe leave that there. You think? Okay, well, just consider it. You like that positioning? No. What do you think? You like that positioning? I think everyone would agree that Keith and I live a rather unique lifestyle now. And even though we've only been on the road for four months, a lot of bizarre and unique and unexpected things have occurred. Some of which you still have not seen and will be coming in future full-time vlogs. Speaking of full-time vlogs, Keith and I have been toying around with this idea for a couple of weeks now of adding in little filler episodes that are shorter. I've had people reach out to me over the past several months, letting me know that it's kind of hard to commit to a 15 to 20 minute long video, and I totally agree. So I've come up with this idea that I'm hoping is a good compromise for everybody that wants to check in on us, but doesn't want to move in with us. Keith and I film a lot of stuff and there are things that do not make it ever into the full vlogs. And I think it would be nice to kind of make little mini vlogs for people who maybe just want to see what we're doing and don't want to commit. Yeah. I'm trying to help out those of you that have commitment issues. We came up with the idea for this through some video Keith saw of some comedian that I don't know and I don't know the quote and I'm totally gonna butcher this, but essentially the comedian was offered a Netflix special and he decided that he was going to put his special on YouTube in several small sections and he found that that was easier for people because it, that people like smaller things in large quantities than longer things. That is not the quote. But I think you get what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to please everyone. This hole keeps getting more and more inappropriate as I try to dig myself out. You're probably wondering why I have 10 towels hanging in my RV right now, especially when it's just Keith and I that live in the RV. And there is a reasonable explanation for that. First, we should address why I even have this many towels. And yes, I did downsize before we moved out of our house. But every time that I think, you know, it's time to downsize the towels again, something like this occurs. After days of only eating scraps, I think we can finally defrost the fridge and freezer. Should I use the blow dryer first? No. I think the styling tool is an Question. important addition. What? That actually probably is helpful. Oh. But with that much ice. Yeah. And wait, wait, listen, listen to me. With that much ice, what happens to the ice it after melts. you use it? It melts. Okay. Okay. So, it's ice. <laughs> you know what? You got this. Go ahead. Don't worry about all that liquid. Okay, all right. You're What's right. What's easier to handle, solid ice or liquid water? 100% liquid. <laughs> so maybe, mm. We should take the ice out. This is my bucket. Okay. Why a knife? <laughs> are you cutting the fridge open? I just want you to stay away <laughs> while I do this. <laughs> Why are we going to the knife? Because I'm thinking chisel. You okay. know, like chisel. Maybe something you know, like flat and wide and not stab-like. You're not climbing the Mount Everest here. <laughs> Now you're cooking. I'm not. Get it? Yeah. Get it? All right. You happy with that one? Yep. 
Now what? Ready? I'm gonna scrape it. Okay. What would you do? I'm here. I'm just here for moral support. Okay. Genuine question. Yeah. Have you ever used a tool before? <laughs> Don't you dare. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> Put it down. Put it down. You know, we have food that's getting warm. Yeah, but... That's a nice tower of ice that we've made. Great job. It's a snowman. chiseling away for four minutes. Then later on, Keith was emptying out the dehumidifier and he missed the sink. So we had to use the rest of the towels to clean up that mess. And if you're curious, no, our floors are not waterproof. They're water resistant, which we've been testing a lot, but we did successfully defrost our fridge and freezer. And when I posted about this on Instagram, I got a few messages from people asking if they are also going to have to defrost their freezer and fridge. And I honestly don't know. I don't know if there's a difference between residential sized fridges and RV sized fridges. I don't know if they've solved this issue in newer rigs. I don't know if it has to do with where you're parked. I don't know. But what I do know is that if this issue does occur for you, just use a hairdryer. And if you don't have a hair dryer, use a blowtorch. Well, that's, that's all for the first mini vlog. So hope you enjoyed it. Cheers.